Hello everybody, welcome to journal entry number three. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Kicking it off with my campaign thoughts, which it's done by Treyarch, which I was surprised with, because honestly Treyarch hasn't hit with their campaigns since Black Ops 2, right? And even then that was kind of missed. So do they come back in a strong fashion with Cold War? Most definitely. The intro mission is incredible. It's just a fast paced white knuckle ride. It's tons of carnage, action, shooting, and even some dialogue tree options. Uh, some of which that you need to get right to get intel for certain side missions and stuff down the road, which is really cool. There is a ton of really awesome uh, multiple branching paths and things to take throughout your campaign run, depending on what dialogue choices you choose throughout the game and how you handle side missions and stuff, which is really interesting for a COD game. There are puzzles in this game that you cannot even use a walkthrough for because they're randomly generated for each individual person who plays the game. You have to like piece everything together yourself and it's really, really cool uh, for certain side missions. The core campaign is great. There's a ton of awesome set pieces. You have your typical action ones with your AC-130s and helicopter gun missions. You guys get the gist. But there's also some more slower paced stealth segments, which surprisingly work out really well, where you have to creep around and find intel and put together clues to set up certain scenarios to get certain things. And you know, it, it all kind of intertwines with each other throughout the campaign run. I love this about the game and you really have to pay attention to the dialogue which again helps you get attached to the characters because once again with the dialogue trees provided it will help you net or net you a better ending is rather better said so yeah it's it's a really cool campaign and of course you have the classic trademark call of duty gunplay which is further enhanced if you play it on the ps5 i just gotta talk about it, it the playstation 5 makes this game that much better i mean you have rumble in the controllers so your guns respond to the recoil uh, by your analog triggers which is absolutely insane you know when you shoot an mp5 you got that really fast pitter patter the reload in the haptics it just feels great to shoot stuff and you know let clips ring it's it's awesome and it, it, it's pretty immersive right it is you really feel like you're on the ground in a cold war <laughs> but overall um yeah it, it's a really great campaign i loved all the characters the plot twist was insane and everything about it just really hits it's one of my favorite cod campaigns we've played definitely above modern warfare 2019 it's it's great stuff man um still not quite the heights of modern warfare 1 through 3 all right we're, it's gonna take a little bit to get there you know what i'm saying but definitely i see them they're on the come up and it's a great time um if you were wondering what the crux of the story is it's the same plot that every it's like the same kind of generic plot that every call of duty game has communism bad russians bad america freedom it's cold war i mean i didn't have to say that you guys knew that but there uh, so you guys get the gist you guys don't really come to call of duty for campaign though I know some of you some of you guys are more multiplayer or zombie heads So I'll get quickly to that first off the multiplayer uh, It's really bad this year. It just sucks. All right, I'm gonna just be honest I, I just play Modern Warfare 2019 for now like no joke. It's still getting supported uh, I, Warzone is still getting support and stuff during Cold War from what I've heard so I'm not gonna bother playing uh, Cold War's multiplayer at all because it just sucks. Um, I don't like the modes they have. I don't really like the gunplay. It's back to the jump slide everywhere. It's so annoying. You peek a corner, jump slide or so and crouching in a corner. It's just not fun uh, compared to being able to double time and sprint away where they can't even laser onto you in time or uh, slide away with Modern Warfare's movement, which is just much more uh, fast paced and lets you do a lot more things and get out of combat scenarios and you know get yourself into those sticky situations. There's none of that in Cold War. It's just back to the typical boots on the ground, very generic slide fest that Black Ops has unfortunately became over the years. I really do miss that dolphin dive. I really do miss, you know, what made a Treyarch COD a Treyarch COD. And there's just none of that in this one. You know, it just feels, very very generic to play yeah, it's not fun uh the maps are also awful like they're bad uh, satellite being one of the worst maps i think i've ever played there's like no cover there's just a it's no lanes to push it's just one giant middle fight uh fight for middle ground and it, tons of hills it's just weird um i don't know multiplayer just didn't hit this year sorry uh not really much to talk about because it's just not much on there there's like four maps there's like 
barely any guns. It's just, it's there. It, it exists. However, zombies and stuff like that will be getting free updates and all that jazz. And that's what I'm really happy about because zombies this year was fun, dude. Uh, it's on, it takes place on like a Russian Cold War base or something like that. And you kind of go around exploring and solving all the Easter eggs and you get the gist. And the game even gives you some advice for once and lets you uh, figure out how to activate the power, which is really cool. And once you do that, you're kind of left to your own volition to figure out the, the game and, and find all those Easter eggs and stuff, which are really cool to, you know, figure out. There's been a ton of great stuff online. Got some cool little memes and stuff hidden with the zombies on some Easter eggs, which is funny. Um, and there's been a lot of great uh, fun to be had there mainly been playing solo uh sadly i'm gonna hopefully get some co-op going but i do enjoy the zombies this year i also really like uh, some of the changes they've made uh i haven't played against it's like black ops 3 so pardon me if this is already in the other cod games but uh there's some special abilities you have like Cairo freeze which can freeze uh zombies around you as a field ability so after you kill a certain amount of zombies and you know do a certain amount of things to build up the timer and all that jazz and boom you can freeze zombies or uh one called shrouded where you just disappear and you can you know Get, get a little break and get away and build that Congo line to kill a bunch of zombies. You guys know how it is with the Call of Duty zombies kind of uh, gameplay loop, right? Um, and there's all sorts of really cool stuff like that that it's fun. It's a lot of great fun checking out and exploring and figuring out, you know, what works, what doesn't, how to survive as long as you can, what doors to open first. You guys all know the typical COD formula, and it just works really well here. It's great fun to explore and check out. Um, I, I loved the fact that you could also bring in your custom loadouts. That's really incredible, and it just makes the whole game a much more smooth and easygoing experience. It's just good fun. Uh, zombies just never gets old. I uh, never can get bored with it, and it definitely goes doubly with this game. It's just fun. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. It's just fun. Um, but yeah, COD this year surprisingly good and not the multiplayer and thankfully because of updates i will just go back to it uh when it's updated um once more zombie stuff is added i'll be back you know once they add more maps which they're going to uh once maybe hopefully we get more campaign side missions or something i'll be back right and i'll be playing it so yeah great stuff this year from call of duty uh one of my favorite uh i guess campaigns and zombies runs it's really good stuff uh again still not the heights of black ops 2 but we're getting there uh, in terms of multiplayer and zombies uh, campaign, not so not so much, but yeah, really fun uh, by uh, uh, Treyarch and those guys. Just another great time. So that's gonna do it for the Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Cold War <laughs> uh, little journal entry. Just quick thoughts on that game. Is it worth it? Is it not? Definitely worth the price of admission. Just fair warning: if you're on the PS5, you may run into a couple crashes here and there, but it is a really good time. So yeah, uh, pick it up. For once, I'm not even bad. Yeah, it's worth the 70. It's really good stuff, guys. Yeah, just be known there's going to be bad multiplayer, but you'll probably just get Modern Warfare anyways or play Warzone, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, you guys know what to do. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Maybe leave a comment down below on which is your favorite favorite call of duty game i'm kind of curious to see what that conversation is about both campaign multiplayer all that jazz which is your favorite and we'll kind of go from there all right have a great rest of your day boys